Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, here's what happened today. I continued the testing of the Sennheiser MKE 200 eventually. I had a shit ton of stuff to do today for day job, which I did, and then I grabbed my cameras and I went out because it stressed me out and I just needed to be outside. So I went all over the place. I went down to the boardwalk, I went to Great Neck Park, I was in my forerunner driving and everything, and this is what happened. It all looked like crap. No matter what settings I tried to go with, everything was blown out, I couldn't see stuff, or it was too dark. It was incredibly frustrating. I was like perplexed. I had no idea what was going on. So what started out as audio tests turned into shit video, and it was so frustrating. And I probably did five videos in total. And every time I tried to go in and redo the settings and start over again, it just continued to look like crap. And I got incredibly frustrated, and that all came across on every video. So at one point, the last thing I did was I set everything to program mode. I let the camera completely take over, and it still looked like crap. So I was done. The last thing I said was, all right, sometimes shit just doesn't work out the way you want to. I guess that's all a part of it. I'm done. Here you go. Thanks. Bye-bye. And I came home and I pulled all the footage off, got all the footage onto the computer, and I went through and I watched every single one. And they all looked perfectly fine. So what's that tell you? That tells you that you can't go by what's on this old tiny ass screen that's on the camera. Again, Sony a7C, I know that they put old technology into a new body. I get it, they wanted to save money by using older stuff that was still good, but they didn't use new stuff because that would have jacked the price up. Then you've got an A7S III. I'm just gonna make this a very quick, short video with a simple message of trust your gear. But in order to trust your gear, you have to know your gear. I don't know this camera yet. It's all new to me. I've only had it for a week and I've got a new camera an old but new lens as of yesterday a new microphone it's it's like i don't know what the hell i'm doing again and that's kind of how i felt today that i was just like no matter what i do it's just shit i mean I, I feel like why even bother and i got really frustrated and again it's because i was stressed from work <sighs> so i took a nice deep breath and i came back and i looked at all that footage and saw that it was perfectly fine and then that just sort of broke that pattern of me being a whiny little bitch. And I started to understand that, you know what? I know how to set this camera. I know how to film for what I wanna film for all the places that I go practically every day. I know how to use my A7R4. I know how to set it to get the picture that I want so that it's almost perfect in camera because that's the way I like to do it. And I let my eyes deceive me today and the stress just sort of snowballed it into this gigantic crushing boulder of self-doubt and pity and whininess. So reset, shooting here. This is the A7C. I'm not using the MKE 200. I'm using good old Movo VXR10 and I'm filming on the Ninja. The other thing that I did change from yesterday to today, and this was after watching a ton of videos last night, that I decided to go back to using the fake S Cinetone and just doing a custom white balance for in here, a custom white balance in my Forerunner, and then auto white balance when I'm out walking around and coming across whatever I come across. I think it looks just fine. I think this looks great. It looks great in the truck. Everything looks great and I'm good to go with it. So I am going back to using the fake S Cinetone pretty much always and just doing white balance changes. And there you go. That's that. Now, because I felt like this mic didn't sound quite right, I also know that my settings weren't made for this mic. I didn't have them set that way. I had them set for the Rode Wireless Go, which sits right here all the time. And it just wasn't loud enough, and it just sounded really tin canny and just not good. So I watched a ton of videos last night on how to you know, manipulate audio with Final Cut and all that kind of stuff because I don't feel like going out and spending $10,000 on more software. So I did find a number of videos that sort of got me in the right direction and then ultimately found one that was like, that's it. That's what I need to do. Then when I pulled all the footage of today's stuff off from the Forerunner, 
from the boardwalk, from walking around in the woods, from doing whatever I was doing, it all sounded perfect. I didn't even have to do anything with it. And I started to realize this because I didn't have it set for this new mic. It was set for the Rode Wireless Go. All that being said though, I do know now how to go in and get the audio for my voice to sound better if it isn't quite right. And I certainly haven't come across every circumstance that I'm gonna run across with this, but it gets my blessing again. It sounds great. Yesterday, not so great, but it wasn't set correctly. So that goes into my whole thing, learn your gear. And when you learn your gear, then trust your gear. And that's all I have to say today because I just went down and made stir fry, but I wanted to shoot this and I can smell it and it's driving me crazy. So I need to go eat. That's all I have for you today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.